All right, so I want to talk about mugwort and how it can be used to lucid dream better. So this might be a bit of a, an in-depth video, so stay tuned, get comfortable, and leave a comment already, by the way, saying what you think about mugwort. Have you tried it? Do you think it's effective? All right, so mugwort is also known as Artemisa vulgaris. I think I'm saying that right, and it's, it originates in parts of Asia, uh, Northern Europe, Alaska, and places like this, and it's usually fairly hard to acquire, although recently there's been a lot more supplements and, and ways of getting it online. You know, you can order this fairly easily and cheaply online. Uh, and there will be some links in the description as well to the best sources of mugwort. So what does it do? Well, mugwort is said to produce very vivid and intense dreams in everybody who consumes it. And this effect seems to be across the board. You know, people that are skeptical, people that have never tried mugwort or any supplement, it seems to be a fairly reliable effect, okay? It's not a placebo. This is definitely something that the, the active ingredients in mugwort is actually doing to your brain. And so that's what's made it so interesting for me to study this, uh, this, this herb or this supplement. Just a quick bit of history about mugwort. So it was used originally as a flavoring for beer. Uh, the, the flavor that mugwort gives beer is uh, actually why it was originally called mug herb or even mug flavoring. So it's kind of an interesting history. And then obviously at some point people would have discovered that it has some pretty intense effects on your dreams. Another really interesting thing which I find quite funny is that it was also used or known as sailor's tobacco. And the idea is that sailors would use this or smoke mugwort instead of tobacco on long journeys because it might have been cheaper to, cheaper to get or you know maybe run out of tobacco. Um, and it was said to induce uh, intense visions in the sailors and to sort of keep them motivated as they went on their long journeys and sometimes they would be gone for years at a time, right? So it was said that sailors tobacco or mugwort was used to actually inspire them and, and even give them visions in terms of where they should go, how they should keep going, what, what they should focus on and, and that sort of stuff. So it's, it's had an interesting history. And so it's definitely worth at least thinking about, it's definitely worth at least thinking about now, especially if you're trying to lucid dream more because it's so cheap and it's so available now. Um, you know, it didn't always used to be this easy to acquire. Now, before I get any further, I wanna make very clear that you should not use mugwort if you are a pregnant woman. It encourages menstruation, and so it's a very, obviously a very dangerous thing to even consume a, a tiny bit of if you're a pregnant woman. Make sure that you don't do that. Now, in terms of the effect it has, okay, it has several effects, so it makes you have vivid dreams, it encourages relaxation, it calms you down, it's a relaxant, and it also helps with gastrointestinal problems and digestive issues. So it really is quite a versatile thing. The only problem is it can be hard to consume. Unless you can find a supplement uh, with enough of mug enough mugwort to actually have an effect on you, you're gonna have to resort to things like smoking it. Uh, and obviously not everybody is comfortable doing that or even wants to think about smoking something. So there are, hope, there are luckily supplements now that have mugwort, um, which I'll link to in the description. But in terms of the effects on dreams, so it has a very vivid and intense effect on your dreams. You will not only remember your dreams more, but you'll also be more likely to have lucid dreams because of the active ingredient in mugwort, which is called thujone, or thujone. I, I can't remember how to pronounce it. And it's said that that is like a, a stepping stone or like a pathway to lucid dreaming. It's not gonna induce lucid dreams directly, nothing really can, but it's gonna act as that stepping stone to guide you towards uh, the lucid state, the lucid state of awareness. Now, before I get any further, I just wanna say that this is not a medical recommendation at all. This is just my experiences. Uh, you can read more in detail about this on my post, which I wrote about mugwort, which will be linked in the description. Now, the ideal dosage from my experience is roughly 150 milligrams, but then most supplements of mugwort actually tell you the recommended dosage. So it's kind of easy, you know, you just get the bottle and we go by their instructions uh, and test it out. I would always say to start at the very lowest dosage and then work your way slowly up until you reach like the peak or the sweet spot. The other thing to notice about mugwort is it does leave you fairly dehydrated during the day. So you need to make sure to drink enough water. You should always be drinking enough water, but you know, this is even more important with mugwort. So how do you actually take it? Well, there are a few ways of taking it and each one has varying different levels of effect that it's gonna actually have on you. So it's not just all the same. The first way is to actually smoke it. So if you can, if you already smoke, uh, ideally if you already, already roll your own cigarettes, you can just actually use a Rizla and some, and some mugwort leaves, roll it up and smoke it. And that is a fairly easy way of, of getting mugwort into your system. The only thing that I would say is it probably tastes or you know feels quite harsh. The smoke is gonna be quite dry. Uh, at least that's what people are saying online, that's what people uh, report when they smoke mugwort. The other thing you can do is you can burn incense of mugwort. You can actually burn mugwort and uh, you can 
you can buy online mugwort incense sticks and you burn them and the idea is they relax you. Now, this won't get enough of the active ingredient into your system to actually have an effect on your dream vividness, but it will relax you and the smell is said to be quite relaxing and soothing. There's also another semi-effective way of, of using it and that is to just put it into a dream pillow. I've spoken before about uh, dream pillows. They're essentially just a bundle of lucid dreaming herbs and, and aromas and incense things like lavender, like mint and like things like this. You just bundle them all into a, an old sock or like a, a fabric type pillow and you sleep on top of it. And the idea is the aromas will help you relax and it does sort of work. You can include mugwort in that, but it doesn't get the active ingredient into your system. And so I'm gonna finish on the most effective way of, of getting the ingredients into your system, which is to drink it. And you'll be, you'll be quite happy to hear that you can actually get mugwort tea or lucid dreaming tea. Usually it includes other things, not just mugwort, but mugwort is a key ingredient to the teas. And a lot of the lucid dreaming teas that I will link to in the description, I've wrote a post sort of reviewing the top 10, I believe. A lot of them have mugwort in them. The only thing I would say is it does taste quite bitter, but that's the price you pay for more intense dreams and for not having to smoke it. Check out the Lucid Dreaming teas in the description in the, in the post and let me know what you think. I've tried most of them. I think the top ones that I, uh, that I enjoyed the most were EQT, EQAT, I think I'm saying that right, and uh, there was a couple of others as well. Um, but yeah, most of them have mugwort, which is good, and it's also very cheap and easy to do because you just boil the tea. One annoying thing about most of the lucid dreaming teas and on the list, uh, not all of them, but most of them, is that you have to you have to filter them yourself. You have to have like um, one of those filter things that you put loose leaves in and then you pour the hot water over it and then you pull out the leaves. It, they don't often come with tea bags is what I'm saying. A couple of them do, but most of them have tried to just save, you know, cut costs and include just the loose leaves on their own which is fine, nothing wrong with that. So that's it. And you know, you're probably wondering like, well, okay, what's the downside? Why wouldn't I try mugwort? Um, and the only reason that you wouldn't try mugwort is if you're a pregnant woman, okay? Or if you have something really important to do the next day, because it can leave you feeling a bit tired. You can feel a bit sort of run down, almost like a hangover, nowhere near as bad as a hangover, but similar in terms of your mental fatigue and your, your mental fatigue and you know, how tired you feel mentally. So that's something to consider. There are lots of options you can buy online. Links in the description. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel was supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various lucid dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.